Hi there. I just wanted to do a quick video today. I know it's been a while. And this one is really going out to those of you who are struggling with different parts that may be getting activated or you actually have a DID diagnosis. Um, and I know some of my videos in the past have really resonated with you. So this is, this is a personal uh, letter to you, if you will, a video letter, just um, knowing that you're not alone. And for anyone that is maybe going to therapy for the first time, or if you've been working with a therapist and uh, you're not really addressing the parts, to encourage you to uh, reveal them a little bit more, whether you're talking about them from your adult self or uh, even allowing them to come out if you're, you're feeling safe. So just from the perspective of a therapist, I can definitely see and sense when the littles are uh, right there, right under the surface. We can tell because, I can tell because Sometimes uh, a little part will, a little kid part, I'm saying, uh, will have mannerisms that are very different from the adult self or the host um, or the, the primary personality. There's many different terms that, that we could use. Sometimes they, you, you can see it right behind the person's eyes. The person maybe will get a little bit of a far away look. Sometimes they will even verbalize that things are a little bit foggy. And, and sometimes I will say, um, you're starting to go, aren't you? You're starting to, to go and I'm curious about who's coming forward. Uh, sometimes that little part is actually having physical manifestations of what was going on back when the abuse was going on. So they, they might look like they're in distress, like they are living on trauma time. Um, and when they do come forward, I often am saying things to help with that time orientation. Like even looking around the room, that person is not here anymore. That, that's assuming that the person really is gone. The abuser, oftentimes I'm working with people that are uh, older adults and the abuse that happened when they were children was so long ago that there's a good chance that the abuser really is dead. They're gone. Um, and just reminding that, that child part that that person literally is not here. They cannot hurt you anymore. And the sad, the tragic part one of the tragic parts um, that that just goes with being human is little children internalize. They don't understand why this grown up would have done that. So they assume that it's their fault or they were told that it was their fault. And oftentimes they were threatened. If you tell anyone about this, they're not going to believe you. Or worst case scenario, I'm going to hurt somebody that you love. So this has been a huge burden placed on the little child. And lots of times those little exiles, now the dissociated parts are still running on that narrative. So sometimes the work is disputing that narrative that that's not true. Um, sometimes there's like magical thinking that, I'm going to be harmed because they shared with me what happened and they were threatened back then. Um, anyone that knows I'm going to kill them or something bad. So assuring them that, nope, I'm still here. And many, many people over the years have, have shared what their abuser uh, did to them and also were threatened. Um, and, and I'm still here. So I've been able to hold the space, take on those those horrible stories of abuse but I'm still okay and I'm, I'm here to help you I'm here to let you know that that you're you're safe right now 
Um, another thing that's helpful in therapy sometimes is um, art therapy. The little parts will ask for crayons or markers and and they can get it out another way of expressing what's happened to them. And it also is a real window for me as the therapist to understand what's in their mind. And then I can help them kind of make sense of it. So just kind of off the cuff, I didn't uh, have any script. I didn't plan what I was going to say today, but that's what's in my heart. And for those of you watching, thank you so much for watching. And if you think this little bit of information might be helpful for your therapist to see, feel free to share or any family member that is safe or friend um, that, that just might help them get a little bit more of a window into your experience. Uh, I hope this could be a resource for you. All right. Thanks again.